Well, good afternoon and welcome to Witcham, Witcham Parish Church. This is near Haverig, down in southwest Cumbria. We're near Barra. It's a bit too close for our comfort, really, isn't it, Wookie? <laughs> Six fingers. <laughs> and today, anyhow, it's the 7th of October 2020, and today we are going up Black Coombe. Just fancied it for a change. Never been up before, so. Don't know how long it's going to take us. We should get some good views because we've got blue skies above us. A bit breezy, so we should get some cracking views out to sea today. It's almost one of them fells what looks far in the distance, but we might yeah. tackle them. It is, yeah. Never tackled it before, so I'll see how we get on. And Monty's come along today. He's fitting well, so we'll see how his climbing skills are. He can always go in the rucksack afterwards if he's knackered. <laughs> and of course, Penny's here too. Hi, so this footpath comes up from the church. It'll go somewhere up there, the path, no doubt. So just looking back from where we come, down there where those trees were. Looks like a few of them sheep have been chopped by them. Huh? What's that, sheep? Uh, back end. Uh, rams have been busy, quite clearly. The legs are walking up and down. <laughs> I'm not recording any sheep porn, folks. Oh, then again, I'm sure he was trying to get his leg over there. <laughs> I think he's already the artist. <laughs> so here we are, here's the main path now. We've got a gate and it comes round this way and just heads up. It looks quite alright. Apparently, it takes an hour and nine minutes from here, according to Google Maps. That's open to debate. And I'd just like to say, Wookie's um, gate is uh, purple and he's matching with a. He's even got matching phone. I'm just saying it. It's just odd material. It's, uh, Keep your pants dry. <laughs> Colour. Turned purple. You're only jealous. Lovely views. Out the wind a little bit here, so it's not too bad. Nice steep bit. We're over 500 feet now of climbing. Started. Look, he's getting gone now. So we look back down to where we've walked. The views are starting to get out a bit more now for us. Looking further in distance in better. If it gets any clearer, let's see if we can get to see various other things, Blackpool Tower for instance, and down further down the coast. Somebody I did read say on a really clear day you can see the Welsh mountains. But that remains to be seen later on. This is one of the subsidiaries. I'll have to look at it. What did it begin with? Wookie Ness? What? This. Very good view for you, by the way. No. Well windy. That's where we're up there. Another cairn over there. Excellent views out. Back when you look towards Bad Earth, as you come over here, spotted this from the main path. It's just a nice memory. Memory of a dear son, Nathan Lonsdale, gone but never forgotten. 26 of the 4th, 1987 till. It's 17th of the 9th, 2014. Well, this must have been a favourite spot. I used to come, and frankly, that's why. So, what a lovely place to put a plaque to remember someone by. Beautiful. Down below there, that's Sylcroft. Sylcroft Beach is in the distance. I can zoom in over there. I was there a couple of weeks ago and the beach was a lovely little beach to walk on. He's walking there. He's having a rest, tiny places. Well, we're over halfway up. It's getting pretty windy up here. Probably tell on microphone. 
halfway here, zigzags up here, around. We've got our uh, woolly hats on now. Body's doing well. The views are improving, definitely. Look out to sea. Well, as Wookie's pointed out here on the path, there's a bit of a crossroads there that goes over there. But as you can see, someone's made some stone arrow. So the summit is in that direction. Very good, Wookie. You're not that thick after all, even if you're from Wookie. You're as thick as I look. Very windy. But there's vistas all round from here. Our uh, sandwiches and soup for the day. We do some bird watching. No, it's not, it's just you with these uh, binoculars looking over the far side. I don't know if you picked out the strange noises up on the camera there. <laughs> so, That's your soup, isn't it? We've made a good old mess, but we'll be taking it with us. We're out there at Isle of Man. Trying to get this. Barely see it. Yeah, it's quite difficult to see. It's cool, you know. it's got quite easy. So back out west could be away. Over there, the less said the better. <laughs> it was a bit clearer earlier, but I wasn't filming, so which is a shame. Hesham is over there. I don't know if you can pick that up with on the camera. Hesham Port and beyond. I think I may have seen Blackpool Tower earlier, but I'm not picking it up now, unfortunately. So oh yeah, it's not bad up here. I suppose when it's a perfect day, you'll see absolutely everywhere. Well, we've been up here for a good half hour or so to ourselves, get a good view. It's just a shame, it's a bit hazy to see further right down the coast. And that's the way it is. Very windy day, so we're gonna do a loop back and down that way, and then we're gonna come round back in ourselves. So uh, should do over six mile by the time we got back, maybe seven. So how we get on. Dogs have got the coats on, that's how cold it's got now. Ready, ready, madder. Let's crack on. And as usual, we're on our descent now off uh, Black Coombe. Some excellent vistas here now. and we're going back round and down underneath ourselves. Well, we'll see where it leads. As usual, we'll end up on a, a magical mystery tour. The route not to. So, we've we're still got a bit to go down to ground level. Whether we'll remain on ground level when we're walking back. 
that way. That in front of us is called Barfield's Tarn. I've just had a look at it on the map there. The wind's eased down a little bit further down and the temperature's up as well so the fingers have come back to, to normal, thankfully. The walk is looking less cold. Taking pictures of me, making a video. Strange. <laughs> but yeah, bit of a one of these fluffy cloud sort of days. That looks blacker on camera. So we've uh, there's the tan. We've come down. It's much easier walking now off the steeper ground. We're heading down this path, what looks like a grassy path. And further down there, there's another wall, which are open to be just walking along, and then that should take us back around to where we want to be, with a bit of luck. But we've done all right so far. Yeah, hey, look. <laughs> Not bad. You know, we have one. You'll have a walk where you have one mishap. Okay? There'll be a mishap somewhere. There's bound to be. But it's much calmer conditions down here. If we end up in Miller. Directly across there is the Isle of Man. I don't know if you can see any of it, the camera might pick it up or not, don't know. Over in that direction. Come to a stream, go and get a drink on. Bit midgy on the catch. Well midgy. Crystal clay, what's it? It's like I jumped from there on the back. I don't know what to do, there's a lot of people in the I'll get across. No street to get across. Second one. Just deciding to avoid getting feet wet, of course. Oh, look, he's across. I missed it. Didn't film you. You're going to do it again. <laughs> get across with dogs. Oh, it's getting quite dark ish. Quite a long walk back now. Just coming here. I think this is more or less part of Witcham, but look up there, it's lovely. Some waterfalls. Nice here, there. Right through there, or what? Yeah, that's it. Very nice. Bent midges are attacking us again. So here comes the water flowing down there. Nice little settlement, this. It's getting pretty dark now, we're coming up on nearly nine miles. There's a 595, we're on the southwestern flanks of Blackcomb now. We've done a fair bit of walking, there's a little bit of trudging we've had to do unfortunately. That uh, took a while longer. It's getting quite dark now. We've come up to a quarter to seven I think. Look out into the sea, there's plenty of lights on out there. Pick it up, yeah, it does. Plenty of lights. Look over there, the red, that's barren red, and that's Havering Prison. Just there. Sourcroft. Here. So I best run you can catch Wookie, I've got to be well ahead. Well, that's, that's us back. Back to a dark car. Shiny AIDS. Yari. Two shiny heads, <laughs> that's all you can see. Benny but now, um, uh, it's a very good day, it was good on top of there. Just a shame we couldn't see everything. It was a bit windy up there. No, oh. Very, very windy, yeah, very, very windy. But it was well worth doing. So, we've only got three weeks till winter sets in until these clocks change, so we've made the most of it. At least we're on low ground when we can't. Oh, the uh, focus has gone out. At least we were on low ground when we uh, got back. I mean, look how dark it is now since we got yeah, back. I mean, we've uh, just met it. Yeah. So we shall leave it at that for now. And hopefully we'll be out again soon somewhere. We don't Hope know where. Hope you enjoyed the whinge fest. Uh, we had a good... <laughs> I've, had a good, I've had a good morn off camera. Plenty of morns and twines at the dogs. Nothing new there. Uh, yeah. So we'll see you on next year. So that's goodbye from us. Goodbye.